science coming up, and Dan is going to deliver it to us, and it's the science behind silicone uh, cookware. Indeed. Yes. Uh, you know, so far we've talked about copper, we've talked about aluminum and steel and ceramic, and I thought it would be a nice time to actually investigate one of the newest additions to the kitchen, and actually one of the newest materials we have in the world, which is silicone, which was not developed until 1940. So this is actually really a newish huh, material. Interesting. And um, there's a lot of fears out there, and I, and I hear you. People are scared of using plastics or rubbers in the kitchen. We're afraid they're going to melt, and we're afraid they're going to leach into our food. So I wanted to break down this science so that you're comfortable at home using things yeah. like this. Okay, so, so let's, let's do some definitions. Silicon, silicone. Before we even get there, let's talk about what rubber is. So, okay. so there's actually three kinds of rubber. The first one is natural rubber, which comes from a tree called uh, Hevia brasiliensis. You cut the tree, the sap runs out. That is actually latex. That's what latex comes from. It's just the sap really? of the tree. Wait, is the rubber tree the whatever you just said? Yes. Okay, that's the that's, that's the official it. name. Say yeah. it. Uh, Hevia brasiliensis. We might want to check with Shirley on that one later. Okay, but, uh, <laughs> but it's really just for people like us—a rubber tree. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay, yeah. exactly. Oops, there goes. Now the other Another. two kinds of rubber are actually synthetic. There's synthetic rubber and there's synthetic silicone. Now to your question: yeah. silicon versus silicone. This right here, my friends, is a chip made from silicon. Silicon is one of the most abundant elements we have on the earth, and we use it because it's a really great conductor in uh, computer parts. That's but what Silicon Valley. Indeed. Oh, oh my gosh, you blow my mind. That's what I'm here for. But it's actually terrible for. <laughs> for cook. It's terrible for cookware. It's incredibly brittle. Now, silicone, which we've got all over the counter today, silicone is a polymer. A polymer is a kind of um, compound that's a long chain molecule, and in this case, the chain is alternating. Uh, atoms of silicone, silicon, and oxygen. And those chains interlock, so you get something that's really stretchy, it's not gonna tear, and it's not gonna break. You can do this all day long. And the polymer's like a plate of spaghetti you left in the, in the fridge, right? You take it out the next day, you can't get one strand apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Can I just address the blank stairs real quick? He didn't know Jersey Shore. He didn't know that. Yeah. He knows this, Jersey. but he didn't know Jersey that's Shore. That's way more important than Jersey yes. Shore. Yeah. <laughs> I that's impressive. So yeah. why do we wanna use silicone in the kitchen? Great question. For me, I think it's it's about a couple things. Food safety. If you're afraid of using plastics because of BPA or any yes, of that, exactly. you want to stick to silicone. It's a perfect replacement. Secondly, uh, it's quick release for cakes and baked goods. And thirdly, most importantly, it deals with temperature perfectly. It's uh, it, it doesn't melt until easily over 600 degrees, and you can put it in the freezer, and it's not going to crack. Ooh, so this is wow. not okay. harmful to your health the way that it the It won't other... leach into your food the same way that we're afraid exactly. of with plastics. So I mean like okay. in microwave ovens and such? Indeed. Okay. Now, to illustrate, I want to show this, and this is something you might want to not want to do at home and, and don't do it with your kids, but I want to show you how protective a silicone glove can be. A lot of your oven mitts are cloth. This one is made from silicone. I have boi a pot of boiling You're water not here. Do that. Now, we know the boiling water is 212 degrees, and this would hurt my hand severely, but I can put my hand covered in the silicone, and I'm, I'm holding it in there. I'm not even yeah. feeling it. So this is right. just to illustrate to you how perfectly uh, insulating silicone is. And that's why we use it for oven mitts. That's why we use it for yeah. trivets and, and you know things that you want to grab a hot right. hand with. Mm -hmm. This is going to protect your hands way better. I have that are made of that mm -hmm. now that I think of it. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. used to, to Never buying All again. my stuff yeah. is yeah. silicone. Because think of that. If you splash hot water on a cloth glove, it's going to soak right through. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, right. yeah, and then oh. it's going to burn. OK. So moving on, you've got this in front of you. Babe. You can you can unmold those capes really easily. Silicone is Oh, these are silicone. Cones. Yeah, you've oh got the coach. Yeah. And I love this. That is easy. You know, if, if you're always That's scared of, of, of muffins, look, I'm not even wow. using muffin uh, uh, muffin liners in here. These these just mm -hmm. kind of pop right out. It makes baking extremely easy, and nothing really sticks to silicone. So these are going to clean up with just a, a splash of water. And then wow. when you're frying things, and the silicone spatula, yeah, so it's brilliant. So spatulas to me are really important, and this is the thing that I, I think we've all had this problem. I've got a hot pan right here, and you've had uh, a plastic spatula like this before. The minute I'm putting it in that pan, it's already beginning to melt. To melt. Look oh, at that. Oh. We're, I mean, we're already. Oh, we, and this wow. is the thing. This is dangerous in the kitchen, but this hot. Hot pan does nothing to a silicone spatula. Nothing's happening there. Again, silicone is safe. Uh, different varieties from 600 all the way up to 900 degrees. It's Plus, kind of if you, if you have the nonstick oh. pans, they don't scratch them. Yeah, you know? exactly. Oh, exactly. Yes. exactly. And for me, one of the one of the coolest uh, uses of silicone, instead of using a lot of plastic wrap at home to wrap up your leftovers, I've got these really nifty things. I mean, who hasn't had a half of an onion left oh. or something? Oh, or, or, or a little lemon or a lime. I love you can those. just you know, wow. strap these right over. Or if you have a, a bowl of food left over, you just take a silicone oh, that's that's fantastic. Fantastic. like this. So smart. Suddenly, oh, yeah. you're not I creating any waste. I love them. And you've just got, and these, I mean, these honestly, you can buy at Amazon. They're so much easier than using 
oodles and oodles of plastic. Yes. Right. Yes. I, so I, and you can just wash them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you throw them in a dish? You wash can't them? ever yeah, not, they're not plastic, the heat, they're right? rubber. This is the thing we've all got to remember. Ah, Silicone so cool. is rubber, it's not plastic. I know. Okay. I can't. I get Which in so many chemistry. fights with saran, whatever yes. plastic yeah. oh, oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm like, eh, and yeah. it's gonna it's fold on itself. Ah, that piece yeah. of throw it away. And I wasted half the roll yeah. every time. <laughs> Crazy. More on Dan's site. By the way, you can go there and not get burned if you wear the product. Right. Exactly. Uh, it will you burn can check you. out his site, RenegadeKitchen.com. And up next, Shirley's gonna tell us about some flowers, and maybe we'll find out about the rubber tree. Yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to precondition your cut flowers so that you have long-lasting, beautiful flowers.